Right, so what I like doing this short video is just go through coupons. So you're already into the e-commerce store. So just get on here, just to show you. We're gonna go in, chat ammo. You'll be on the dashboard to start off with. And you're gonna go down to e-commerce and just gonna click on e-commerce store. All right, really simple. Um, now once you're inside the e-commerce store, you're then gonna pick if you've got a multitude of different um, e-com, you're gonna pick which one you want. So I'm just gonna use African restaurant as a tester. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to coupons, click on coupon, and from coupon, we're then going to African food chat and more coupons. So first off, it's asking us if we already have any coupons going, and if not. Now, if we want to coupon for a particular date, we'll just choose the date. So I want, this is for the search, obviously. So what from this month, last month, custom search, but we can then add a coupon. All right, so the store's gonna be African restaurant. And the products, we can make it individual products or we can just go through and select all the various products, right? So we'll do a 30% off throughout or whichever way we want to do it. We'll just put it on one to make it easy. Right, now do you want coupon type? Do you want it as percentage or fixed? So you can actually, it fixed on the cart or fixed on the percentage of product, cart or product, right? So it's completely up to you. So coupon code, put in something here, which you'll just put. Africa, um, rest, um, 2021. All right, coupon amount, I'm um, gonna do it's a percentage, so we'll do 20%. Expiry date, so we'll say that this is good for, um, let's say a week, All right? So if they don't use it within a week, then that's it. And we only want them to be able to use it once, All right? So the state is, is active and that's it, now then. The only thing you need to remember is this to give you customers. So we're just going to copy that and save that. Right, and here we have it. We now have a complete Africa thingy. So let's have a look. Now this, you're not going to be able to see everything because obviously it's on my, um, it's on my payment accounts. Sorry, I was getting put off there by dings. Right, so I'm just going to clear that. So we'll delete the chat. Always do this as soon as you go into your chatbot, just to make sure that the flow is working right. So test chatbot, and we've got a little get started here. And what we want to do is we want to see the menu. Now I've only put on one thing. So what was the thing I put it on? I should have just made it easy and made it on one thing. All right, let's have a quick look at the edits. Um, bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. Should have something to do with beans. Actually, let's just do it. There we go, beans and boiled ham. Right, what we're we'll gonna do is I'm just gonna make it so we can choose everything just to make life easier. Um, so I don't need to remember anything. Right, so in effect, what we're doing is we're actually giving this discount throughout the whole store. So this would be best used, um, say through a Facebook ad, something like this, where you're using straight JSON. Um, then you would give away the voucher number, the coupon number within the ad and then tell the customers to use that particular code. All right, so we're gonna get all of these done first. Right, I'm not 100% sure that this is actually gonna save on my side of things, but the state is active and I'm gonna allow free shipping. Completely up to you on which way you want to do it. Maximum usage is one. So one per customer, one per Facebook um, account it'll be. So we're gonna to go to starters. And we're going to add that to cart. Come on, add to cart. I'll just hide this. And in the cart, we now have three things, hopefully. So I've got really, really bad internet um, in my office at the moment because I've got a load of customers in. Right, <clears throat> so first off, I've got to manage the address. Right, so this is what your customer would actually see. So firstly, they're gonna to have to put in the address where they want it delivered to, which with my speeds is going to be quite a long drawn out process. Come on. Okay, with this going so slowly, I'll just explain it. So what will happen is we'll go proceed to checkout. Now in there, there'll be a token value. You then just copy and paste the token value, which you would advertise to them, um, which would be, bum, 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 which would be this token value right in here this 
taught them right there. So it's Africa um, Res and then 2021. So that would actually give the discount all the way through the restaurant, okay? Because we've named all the products. We have every product on there. We give them a 20% discount. We won't let the people use it once. And that's the way it's gonna to look to them, right? So it's gonna be a pop-up on their system. However, mine is just far too slow and it doesn't like that I actually hold payment amount as well. Okay, so that's that for this one.